Hey guys, Stan here from Rocky Creek. Got Miss Madison back there. We're about to head to what's one of our favorite farm stores. I don't know if y'all have one in your area, but we're gonna ride out to the Rural King. We got tractor supplies closer for us, but there's also Rural King, which is about a 40 minute drive for us. Um, and if you ain't ever been to a Rural King, it's like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, a Walmart, and a tractor supply decided they gonna make a baby. So you can get anything and everything there and they tend to have better prices. But I'm actually going to look for something in particular to see if they might by chance have them. And Mrs. Rocky Creek doesn't know what I'm going to find. So if we find it, she's probably gonna be surprised and hopefully she won't be mad at us. So we'll see what we can find. What? So we'll take you on along. And Miss Madison don't know either. She just knows she likes Rural King and she wants to go with me. What? So we'll see what we might find. Y'all stay it? tuned. Is it a cow? Is it a what? Is it a cow? I don't think you can buy cows at the feed store. It's not a cow. I promise you that. Is it baby chicks? So guys, I'd actually planned to do some other things on the Hopestead this weekend, but as it had gone, like I said in previous videos, is we got hit with another ice storm, and this one actually had very little snow, but a pile of ice. We had like three quarters, half to three quarters of an inch of ice. Um, a lot of people in our area had some power outages and things of that nature, so, um, and even though now we're past the ice, the temperatures are still super, super low. The wind's up a little bit. I just, honestly, I didn't want to be outside today. It's too cold. Don't feel like messing with it. Um, so instead, me and my buddy, we're going to go take us a little ride, go see what, if we can find what I'm looking for, and we'll just go from there. So that's kind of why we're doing this trip today, and sometimes it's nice just to get out with my little buddy and go check out some stuff. So get out the house a little bit since we haven't been able to do a whole lot. So we're almost there, so we'll see if they have what I'm looking for. Buddy. What? All right, you done guessed cow, duck, chicken, rabbits. What's your final guess of what I'm looking for when I go in here? Um, a duck, a chicken, or a bunny. No, man, you can't pick all of them. You got to pick what, what's the one thing you think I'm actually trying to look for. What's the guess? Let's see if you'll be right at the end, if they even have it. Okay, okay. I think you're gonna get a tractor. I don't know how much money she thinks I got. <laughs> That's cool, buddy. Well guys, unfortunately, we struck out. I was looking for a particular breed of chicken, but they didn't have any. We've been having a really hard time finding them around here, and I think it's the last ones that I wanna add to my mixed flock to have all the plethora of eggs and varieties that I really would like to have. Um, we ended up going to see some. They didn't have a label. I thought maybe it was gonna be what I needed because when they're chicks, they look very similar to a few other breeds. And unfortunately, they were black jersey giants and not what I was looking for. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now because if I find some this year, I'll surprise you with what addition we end up going with and what I want to add to my flock. But if you got a guess, you can throw it down in the comment box below. I probably won't tell you if you're right, though, even if you do. So instead, we picked up a few other items we need, but we're going to head on to the house, knock out some afternoon chores, take a check on all the animals, give you a little update on them. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's hit the road and get on back to the house. All right, guys, we're back home. Didn't have no luck finding what we wanted, but we're going to go ahead and take care of farm chores. Say hi to all the animals. Let you see what's going on with them. Take care of a couple things right now. So let's go check everybody out. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up, brother? Say hi, Chloe. Chloe, you saying hi? How you been, Mater? Good to see you, brother. tell you it's amazing how thick his fur gets in the winter compared to in the summer you can look at it and tell but until you touch it that's when you really can tell so you can see he's worked through a good bit of his hay now I have been grabbing a little bit off of it here and there for the rabbits or for nesting boxes for the chickens stop biting my boot buddy but he's been eating it pretty regularly. You can see where some of the hay down on the ground is from where he's been pulling it out. So this feeder's actually been working out very well. So far, the way he's been using it, even with the snow and some rain, the hay's been able to dry back out. So I, right now, I don't think I'm gonna put a, a roof on it. He's pushing all over me. So hay feeder's working out great. Mater's happy with it. I'm happy with it. And for the price point, can't beat it. Why are you being so oh, where are you running? What's up, Henry? What's up, brother? What's up? All right, I'll feed you. It ain't feeding time yet, but I'll feed you. Oh, you're getting jealous, Olivia. You need a little love. Good, Henry. Your fur is nice and soft, Miss Olivia. So something that's been driving me crazy with Henry and Olivia versus Mater and the two Cooney Coonies I had prior is that all my Cooney Coonies typically have used the bathroom in one spot. Henry and Olivia, though, they're just using the bathroom all over God's green earth here in their pen, which is making cleanup and keeping up with it very difficult. I have no idea how I'm going to break them of that. I'm trying to figure out what to do, but honestly, it's driving me crazy. It's making it very hard to keep their area cleaned up. But I'm going to try to figure out something on that. We're going to be working on that in the future, hopefully. Two eggs there. None. Hey girl. You laying some eggs? Oh. You going on in do your thing? No, that one's taken. So guys, a little update on the egg laying. If you've followed us on Facebook or Instagram, and I did just start a Twitter. I don't know much about Twitter or tweeting. Or any of that stuff but i'm trying to figure it out because some of y'all do like to keep up with stuff on twitter so i'm trying even though i'm younger ish i ain't real good with electronics but i'm doing the best i can for y'all but nonetheless i talked about how since using that grub terra whether it was linked to that or not i have had a significant increase in my egg production and guys between my easter eggers the crested cream leg bars starting to lay for the first time ever and for the most part my welsomers I'm not kidding you, I went from getting zero to maybe three eggs at most to now. I'm up to, for three days in a row, I've gotten seven, nine, and nine. Seven eggs one day, nine the next, nine the day after that. So my chickens are cranking it up despite how cold it's been and the weather we've gotten. Do tip. Oh, camera gets on her, she quiets down. She getting cranked up too. You don't need a rooster when you have a chicken as loud as Q-tip. 
But anyways, guys, where well, they've been in that coop all day, every day, for about almost three weeks now, because they didn't want to come out in the cold, wet weather, it is disgusting. We gotta get that cleaned out, get them some new pine shavings in it right now. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up all of the chores today. Unfortunately, we didn't find the breed of chicken that I wanted to that I felt like would, would finish off my variety of egg layers that I'd like to have in my flock. But the search will continue. Um, but for right now, for me and Miss Starlight here, we hope everybody takes care, everybody be safe. And until then, we'll see you here real soon on the next video. Y'all be good. You say bye. You say bye. Say bye, Starlight.